All right, today, man, we're going to go ahead and get into the Zag Gear 4 Crystal Palace Snap Clear for the iPhone 13 Pro with MagSafe. All right, we got to make sure we say that whole entire name, man. So shout out to one of my subscribers, man. You guys commented in the comment section. was like, yo, T, you need to go out there and grab yourself grab yourself this case and check it out because it is a pretty nice case. And I went to Best Buy, picked it up. So here we are, man. And also, if this is your first time stopping through the channel, man, my name is Technically T, where I handle the accessories, man. I let everybody else handle all the smartphones. So let's go ahead and get into a Zag Gear 4 clear case. And this case does have a lot going on with the packaging, as you can see. So let's go ahead and read off some of the specs, some of the, the things that it got going on. So as you see, it says D30 Crystallix material, and it says slim design. We have antimicrobial treatment, which protects the case from the germs. And when you set it in the, the, the little toilet paper holders in the, the, the bathrooms, you know what I'm talking about, man. Germs just, I feel like you can see them on that, but you know, it is what it is. 13 feet of drop protection, compatible with MagSafe. Flipping it over on the back, you definitely can see a bit a bit little more what is going on. As you can see, the D30 impact protection is basically lets you know how it absorbs the shock and your impact, and it's proven to protect. Sports, motorcycle, industrial, military, electronics. Yeah, it, it protects it all, this D30 material. So this, this material, I guess, is just amazing, all right? So let's go ahead and look at the case. Like I said, I did go out there and get this from Best Buy. I'm trying to see what the price of this bad boy was. I don't know, it might have been around 40 some bucks. A little bit on that higher tier of cases, all right? So you don't get anything else in the packaging, just the case itself. So let's go ahead and take a look. So once again, this is gonna be for my clear case lovers out there and for my clear case lovers out there that does have a MagSafe on it, man. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys wanna see a best clear case video. I think I'm gonna do some of these because I got a lot of clear cases, all right? So let's go ahead and take a look at it, man. So clear case, you get that big white magnet on the back and on the, uh, you get a raised lip coming around the camera on the sides. Now, as you can see, the sides has this, this type of material that's kind of rigid now is there to provide a bunch of grip, but I feel like it's not giving me the grip. It's not giving me the right level of grip. Like they should have made these just a little bit more pronounced, but that's all around the entire frame of it. All right. So there it is when it comes to that. Could I feel mute toggle? You got the raised up volume up and down and you got your accurate cutouts, raised up power button and uh, protected by D30. If you can see right here. And anyway, else branding? Yeah, you got Gear 4 right there by the camera. It says Gear 4. I'm not sure if you ever see that. But let's go ahead, grab the iPhone 13 Pro. Let's go ahead and pop it up in this case. And let's take a look at it. So here it is, man, Zag. I'm not even sure if I've ever reviewed a Zag case on the channel. This might be a first, but let's go ahead and get into it. Actually, I forgot, man. You see, y'all be throwing me off my game, man. We got to make sure we weigh this, all right? We got to make sure we weigh the cases, you guys. Like to see how much these cases weigh, see if they're bulky or anything like that. So let's go ahead and see how much this bad boy right here weighs. And this is going to be 36 grams, all right? So not the super lightest, but not crazy heavy as well. So there it is, 36 grams. So once again, here it is, man. Zag Gear 4 Crystal Palace Snap <laughs> for the iPhone 13 Pro, all right? So let's go ahead and take a look around the case and let's get to it, man. So right here by the mute toggle switch, you can get your hand in there pretty good, not too bad. Volume up and down, hmm, definitely could be better. Like they're, they're eh, they definitely could be more tactile. I will say that. Like they're, they're good, but and eh, I'm not a huge fan of those buttons. Just as keeping it all the way real, man. So coming along that side, you get that, like I said, that little grippy type material. Accurate cutouts on the bottom. Power button. They're good, but they just don't protrude enough for me. I think they should stick out just a little bit more, and therefore, it'll be a little bit more tactile. Eh, they're kind of mushy, in my opinion. So there it is when it comes to that. And taking a look at that camera, as you can see, it is recessed down up in there. And uh, yeah, that's it, basically, when we're talking about the look of it. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the lay on the table protection. Now, this thing has up to 13 feet of drop protection. It doesn't have an enormous lip, all right? It does have a little lip that goes all the way around it. I am running a tempered glass screen protector, but for the drop protection, I was expecting to see a little bit more of a lip. Now, it does protrude a little bit more on the end and a little bit more on the top end like some of those cases do. So that's a good thing. So when you do set it down on the face, it isn't going to be resting on the phone because it does have a little lip. I just was expecting to see a little bit more, in my opinion. All right. So that's it when it comes to that. Now, how does it fit on the phone? All right. So let's go ahead and do the... Now, that comes off a little easy. This right here comes off just a little too easy, in my opinion. But 
they do feel like it's going to actually stay on the phone. I don't feel like it's it's enough or weak enough to pop out on its own. But in my opinion, I probably would like to see a little bit more of a snug fit because you guys know we do we look at cases every single day. I shouldn't be pressing it like this and it shouldn't be popping off. So eh, I don't know about the fit on these, man. It could be a little bit better in my opinion. But let's go with the pull and tug test up here at the top. Very, very snug. The case fits snug. Going around the bottom, you barely have any give right there when it comes to the volume up and down. Going along the bottom, uh, you pulling it, no give. I mean, there is zero give when we are talking about going around, pulling and tugging on the case. But once you start asking to pop it off, it does come off fairly easy. But I feel like I feel like it may not be bad. I feel like it may not be that bad. But yeah, we got to make a note of it. So Fit of it is amazing. How it snaps on the phone could fit a little bit tighter. And how does it feel in your hands? Just like I stated to you before, they have these little grippy edges that goes all the way around it. But in my opinion, I don't feel like it's helping grip that much. I feel like some other clear cases, there's only a couple out there that has grip on the sides. It's definitely a lot better than this. And I feel like it could be a little bit more grippy. In your hand, it still feels slippery, all right, with this material. Still feels a little bit slippery. So that just is what it is. And then it's a clear case, all right? So you know you're going to get those fingerprints. You're going to get those smudges but you can show off the color of your iPhone if that's something that you want to do all right so let's go ahead and bring MagSafe over here let's drop it on MagSafe charging as you can see works just fine with your MagSafe charger now let's check out that MagSafe strength uh, it's okay not the strongest all right it's it's decent definitely not picking up this block and trying to make this bad boy move so the magsafe is uh okay at best kind of uh, you know up to par as with most of them out there a little bit more on the weaker side so it's not really crazy crazy strong let's go ahead and check out some magsafe accessories man so if you wanted to use the magsafe battery pack from apple you got it up there this does have a pretty good connection right here very strong so you don't have to worry about this falling or slipping off and you know that's kind of something that happens when you're talking about the clear cases just because they don't really have much friction to hold on to like material but this right here definitely is a strong bond if i can say so and then bringing the apple wallet over here you got this as well you got your apple wallet and that's an option as well if you want to do so seems like it has a decent connection but like i said sometimes it's clear it doesn't give you the best you know friction against it to allow it to move but I think you got it up there. I don't think you really have much to worry about. So here it is, man. This is the Zag Gear for Crystal Palace Snap <laughs> with MagSafe for the iPhone 13 Pro. Like I said, this thing was up north of 40 bucks. So uh, I don't know, man. I feel like there are a few more options out there to get before rushing out and grabbing this for 40 bucks. I'm gonna just keep it real with you, man. Um, solid fitting case, but I would like for it to fit a little bit more snug in my opinion, but not a terrible case. I just like for it to fit a little bit more tight on the phone. Give me that and give me a little, you know, this grip is something, all right? The going around the sides is something better than nothing when it comes to clear cases. So that's how I'm gonna leave it when it comes to this case. But you already know, man, uh, go out there and grab yourself one if you are interested in Zag Gear 4 Crystal Palace Snap for the iPhone 13 Pro. I think I looked it up. They should make them for every single iPhone 13. So if you got a mini pro 13 pro max i think you'll be covering you good to go but check the links out down below man go get yourself one if you buy one from the links it supports your boy and i greatly appreciate it but we about to get up out of here man until next time make sure you hit that subscribe button make sure you turn that bell on so i can aggravate you when i'm dropping all these case videos man for whatever devices i got in my pocket but until next time everyone please be safe catch you on the next one later